Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to bring up to the podium again to present the Pennsylvania Athletic Training Hall of Fame, Class of 2013, President Yvette Ingram. Okay, so as John said, it's now time to induct the Class of 2013 Pennsylvania Athletic Trainer Training Hall of Fame members. Again, to remind people in the room, um, this honor is reserved for those individuals who have dedicated themselves and their actions to improving the profession within the Commonwealth. I also want to take the opportunity to thank UPMC again for sponsoring this event tonight. As I thought about the best way to introduce these three individuals, I went back and forth many times looking for the best way to do this. I imagine as a Hall of Fame inductee, this is one of the most important moments of their professional career and wanted to make it meaningful. So I decided to tell a story that involved David Tomasi. Knowing full well if he was involved, I would accomplish this goal. For those of you, in, or for those in the room who know me, every time I mention his name, I get choked up. He had a profound impact on many, many people in the room, and these three are no exception. The best way I can explain his impact is to use an analogy of a tree. Yes, a tree. A tree has many parts. It has a root system, a trunk, lateral branches, sucklings, and leaves. As many of you in the room know, all three of this year's inductees are Lockhaven University alumni. I view Lockhaven as the root system that provided a strong foundation for David J. Tomasi so many years ago. Without this root system, many in this room would not be here today. Lockhaven nurtured and provided for Tomasi, and he grew into a strong force, a trunk of the tree in the athletic training community, shouldering many responsibilities. One of these responsibilities was to teach us all to put our hearts and souls into everything that we do. From this trunk grew lateral branches, Julie, Barry, and Linda. These three individuals have become the athletic trainers and people they are today because of some of the influences of Tamas. These lateral trunks have grown bigger and stronger, and we are here today to celebrate their achievements. If I ask the sucklings or the students from Cal University of Pennsylvania, Duquesne University, and Dickinson University, as well as myself and many other individuals currently on the board and past board members, I am confident that we will all say, without the nurturing of these three and the supports of our lateral branches, we would not be where we are today. The leaves, these are the students that are in the room. The ones that are here getting involved and being nurtured by their own lateral branches. As I introduce each of these individuals, you will see how from one tree, many more seeds have been planted and the athletic training community continues to flourish. First, let me introduce Julie Ramsey Emrine. <clears throat> I just wanted to highlight a few of her accomplishments. They are, there's a, a larger bio in your programs, but over the past three decades of service to the athletic training profession in the Commonwealth, Julie has accomplished many things. She loves knowledge. She is a student, an online instructor, a faculty advisor, and a laboratory instructor for many, many leaves in the room. Julie has served as the PATS president. She served on the Athlete Training Advisory Committee to the Pennsylvania State Board of Physical Therapy. She's PATS Hall of Fame and Honors and Awards Committee member, as well as the Centennial Conference Athlete Trainers Committee. As a board member of the Board of Certification and currently is the president of the PAC PAC. Sorry, PAC PAC. Julie has presented to numerous groups about her experiences in the NFL, concussions, and professionalism in athletic training. Ladies and gentlemen, Julie Ramsey M. Ryan.
There's no light up here, Linda. <laughs> this is going to be tough on our old eyes. <laughs> and I, <laughs> Just don't ah, fall. Don't <laughs> and my papers are st sticking together. So, uh, uh, congratulations to my fellow Hall of Fame inductees, Mary and Linda, and to the other award winners this evening. Thank you to the PATS Board of Directors and the Hall of Fame Committee for considering my nomination worthy of induction into this special group of outstanding individuals. I'm so humbled and honored to be named into this distinguished group, people who, I'm all, who I've always admired and respected. My dear teacher, mentor, and athletic trainer, Dave Tomasi, always taught his students to give back to the profession that gave so much to them. He led by example. When I was a student at Lock Haven, it was expected. It was just a natural progression. You would graduate, you go on to serve, and you give back. I can't thank Tomas and my anatomy professor, Dr. Bruce Young, enough for all the guidance that they've provided to me as a student at Lock Haven. They had a true passion for what they did, teaching and caring for students. I miss them dearly. I wish they could be here with us this evening. My Lock Haven athletic training classmates and my best friend, Linda Plattmeyer, Lee Kuntz, Ken Rogers, and Dan Quigley, all of whom were my best, body, my best buddies in college and who remain near and dear to me after all these years. There are so many people that influenced me during my athletic training career that I'm so blessed they took the time to mentor me and guide me in this profession. I'd like to take some time now to thank several of them now. I was fortunate that I had the opportunity to attend what I considered one of the best master's degree programs in the country at the University of Virginia. Many thanks to Joe Geek and Ethan Saliva for their guidance and leadership during my studies there. They set the bar high for me to excel. Thanks to Bill Biddington and Bruce Barnhart. You were both fabulous people to work with at California University of Pennsylvania during my first athletic training job out of graduate school. We worked hard to establish and develop the graduate program in athletic training, and we had a lot of fun times working together. Thanks to Mark Kepler, Bill Biddington, Sandy Bush, Teresa Zepka, and George Roberts for the hours that we worked together on the Athletic Training Advisory Committee to the State Board of Physical Therapy. For most of us, it was our first opportunity to work in Harrisburg and to see firsthand the process of lawmaking rules and regulations, and how difficult it was to make changes in our profession. Many thanks to Denise Fandel and Steve Baer for giving me the opportunity to work at the national level with the BOC. What an outstanding group of people to work with. I've met so many wonderful people all over the country while serving on the BOC. I spent 22 years as an athlete trainer, faculty member, and administrator at Dickinson College. Bob Shank and Janelle Knoll were my partners in crime. Also during a brief stint, Allison Gardner Shires and Eric Sugarman. We share many great times working together to keep the Dickinson student athletes safe. In addition, I had the opportunity to work collaboratively with the athletic trainers in the Centennial Conference and the athletic trainers at Messiah College and at Carlisle High School. Thanks to all of them for being such great colleagues and friends. During my tenure at Dickinson College, the Washington Redskins trained in Carlisle. I owe a great deal of gratitude to Bubba Tyre and Dean Kleinschmidt for trusting me and giving me the opportunity to work with their players during summer camps and during the 2003 NFL season. I feel so fortunate to have had that tremendous experience. A special thank you to Dr. Joe Torg. He gave me the opportunity to work with him on a research study involving cervical spine injuries. I spent an entire academic year on a sabbatical working with him in Philadelphia. During my career, I've served on either PATS committees, district committees, national committees, or the PATS board of directors. There have been so many people that I've served with over the years that have made a great impact on my life and in my professional career. I want to thank everyone that I've worked with, but there's a few special people I want to mention tonight. 
my dear friend Paula Samarone Tarosi, Willie Myers, who couldn't be with her with us here this evening, Phil Donnelly, Joe Izzy, Steve Heckler, Jim Thornton, Dick Burkholder, Mike Goldenberg, and the entire PADS board of directors that served with me during my term as president. In addition, um, I'd like to thank all the past presidents of PATS that worked directly with me during my presidential term. Gary Hanna, A.J. Duffy, Tom West, and Greg Janik. You were all instrumental in my development as a leader of this society. I currently and did teach uh, online for the undergraduate and graduate exercise science and sports studies program at California University of PA. Thanks to Barry McGlumphy and to Jeff Hatton for giving me the wonderful opportunity to teach with them in such an incredible program. And thanks to all my great colleagues I work with at Cal U. After spending my entire career in academia, my most recent athletic training position is as a clinical supervisor with Wellspend Health in York, Pennsylvania. My special thanks to Dr. Don Jite, John Deitch for his support of the athletic training profession and to Troy Rang for being one of the best supervisors that I could ask for. I have an outstanding group of athletic trainers that I'm mentoring and supervising there and I'm truly enjoying my new challenge in life. And last but definitely not least, I want to thank my family. My mother and father, Les and Betty, who were not able to be here with us this evening, but they celebrated their 63rd wedding anniversary last week. Talk about modeling hard work and commitment. Here with me tonight is my brother, Phil, and my sister-in-law, Deb, and my husband, Dave, and my daughter, Marlise. I'm gonna try to make through this. Um, I wanna thank all of you for the love and support that you gave to me during all those long hours that I spent away from home while I was away taking care of other people. During all those late night conference calls and those days that I was away attending many meetings and symposiums trying to better our profession, I could never have done any of this work without your understanding, your love, and your commitment. In closing, a note to all the young professionals out in the audience tonight. I hope all of you find your passion in life. For me, it was helping out student athletes and trying to make a difference in their lives. It was giving back to the profession that gave so much to me. Thank you all for this great honor.